Hey, what is up guys? So today I'm gonna be reviewing the latest Huawei MateBook X Pro which is the flagship of the MateBook family so without further ado, let's get right into it. Right, so just for a quick unboxing, so here is the MateBook's box and upon lifting the lid, the MateBook X Pro greets you and we'll talk about it in a bit. So diving deep into the box, here we got a USB-C dongle, a USB-C charging cable and lastly we got a 90 watt charger which is pretty small and very portable. Now moving on to the MateBook X Pro. Right, so here we got the ink blue version which looks really nice. It has a nice matte finish and it has that skin soft feel to it. And it's made out of magnesium alloy with the new micro arc oxidation coating making it hard wearing, anti-corrosive, anti-scratch and it's very light weighing only 1.26 kilograms. And as you can see here, it's really thin making it very portable and suitable for travelers and anyone who works remotely. By the way, the MateBook X Pro was launched during the APAC Smart Office launch but sadly it won't be released in the Philippines. Right so quick specs, the MateBook X Pro features a 12th gen Intel Core i7 1260p processor with Intel Evo certification, Windows 11 Home OS, Intel Iris Xe graphics card, 16 gigs of memory, 1TB of NVMe PCIe SSD and a 60 watt hour lithium polymer battery. Now moving on to the screen, so this is a gorgeous 3K 14.2 inches screen with super thin bezels making it a 92.5 screen to body ratio which is larger than the previous version and also has a 10 point multi-touch sensitive screen. It also supports 90Hz screen refresh rate and this gorgeous screen also obtained the TV Rainland Pro level color accuracy with dual color gamut certification. It also has a magnetic control nano optical layer that reduces light reflection by 60%. And it's the first ever laptop to obtain the TUB ICOM for 3.0 certification. The MateBook X Pro also uses a super turbo technology that supports 30 watt performance mode despite its slim body which is higher than other products in the market. So here you can switch between balance mode and performance mode just by pressing the function key plus P. And this feature is good especially for video editing like Premiere Pro or Photoshop. The cooling system is also good thanks to the shark's fin fan that provides a better cooling and it can stay cool in 30 watt performance mode so you don't have to worry about overheating. Right, so last year's model has its camera under the keyboard but now they moved it on top of the screen and they were able to fit a 720p HD webcam at the top bezel and this enables fast facial recognition and it will automatically scan your face when you open the lid so you don't have to type in any pin or even use the fingerprint scanner which by the way also works fast in scanning your fingerprint and it also doubles up as a power button. The camera also has an AI feature that lets you change your background during video chat. You can also apply beauty settings and it also has an auto centering feature that automatically puts you in the center when activated. And it also has an eye contact feature that adjusts the image so you appear to be looking at the camera which is pretty cool. There's also a new feature which is called an AI touch-free interaction that lets you swipe up and down to scroll through slides or air press to pause or play a video and swipe left or right to fast forward or rewind a video. And then we have the backlit keyboard and they replaced the camera key with a voice typing key so you can just press this if you want to voice type which is a nice feature and also the key travel is now 1.5mm and of course the typing experience is pretty good. Right, so below the keyboard is a huge touchpad that is now extended towards the edge. And what's cool about the new free touchpad is that it has a new built-in controls. So now you can adjust the brightness of the screen on the left side of the touchpad just by swiping up and down. It also has this haptic feedback that feels like you're actually rotating a physical knob. Also, you can adjust the volume using the right side by also swiping up or down. Fast forward or rewind by swiping left or right using the top of the touchpad. You can also minimize the window by pressing the upper left corner of the touchpad and also close a window by pressing the upper right corner. You can also knock twice to screenshot, double knock using two knuckles to activate screen recording and knock once to stop recording. And lastly, swipe two fingers on the right side to show the notification center. Right, so moving on to the Huawei sound speakers. So this has a six speakers and a split frequency setup for clear treble and powerful bass. And I honestly love it because they sound good and loud. So I'm just gonna play some music so you guys can hear.
The MateBook X Pro is also equipped with four microphones on the front with AI noise cancellation that filters out ambient noise during sound pickups such as ringtones and keyboard typing and it's good especially for an online meeting or online class giving you a better audio wherever you are. This laptop is also equipped with four ports, two of which are Thunderbolt 4 located on the left side and another two on the right side. And lastly, we have a 3.5mm headphone jack. There is also a new feature which is called Huawei Super Device. So here it shows all Huawei devices you have around you. Like for example, if I want to connect to my MatePad Pro, just drag the MatePad onto the computer to connect. Then here you can either mirror your computer screen, which is good for some presentations. Then we have the extended mode. Now this mode makes the tablet as your second display. So with this, you can drag windows to the tablet and vice versa. And also share different content on both screens. And then one of my favorite mode is the collaborate mode which lets you access your tablet through your laptop and allows you to drag and drop files from the laptop to the tablet or vice versa. And this makes file transfer a lot easier because all you have to do is drag and drop. Right, so that is the new Huawei MateBook X Pro and I can say that this laptop is really gorgeous. It's suitable for travelers due to its lightness and form factor and it packs with a lot of good stuff like an amazing display, good sounding speakers and a powerful processor and lots of smart features. It is also good for video editing and Photoshop so I highly recommend this laptop. Right, so that is my review of the Huawei MateBook X Pro and if you guys are interested, I'll put a link in the description below so you guys can check. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.